up for sale 1962 Chevy Impala Super Sport. I'm gonna walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please give a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 62 Impala Super Sport. Finished in factory correct colors, white with red interior, bucket seats and console. Number matching 327, 300 horsepower. Factory four-speed manual transmission. Power brakes. And as always, I'm gonna go around it, point out anything I do see, tell you everything I do know about it, fire it up, drive it, and get in for the driving. So of course, we will start here in the front as always. Uh, 62 Impala Super Sport. I've never had a Super Sport. The only other two 62s I've had have been just nice, regular Impalas. Beautiful cars, actually. But, uh, so I'm excited to have a Super Sport. I love the way the bucket seats and the console are. Let me just, I'm just gonna skip real quick, just some styling things. I love the little console, and I love the consolette. It's just, a, just nice, tasteful features, and I'm pretty sure that this was the only year they had that. Uh, uh, it's restored the way you want it to be. You know, correct colors, interiors correct, engine bay looks correct. You have, of course, white wall tires with the spinner hubcaps on there. That's the, in my opinion, one of the best looks you could have on the car. Uh, it was in a museum actually since the 80s, and then uh, they auctioned some of those cars off at Meekum two and a half years ago, I believe. So the owner that I got it from, he. Uh, did a lot of work to it, including you know brakes, rebuilding the trans, radiator, uh, exhaust. So I'll have all that kind of stuff in the description on eBay, since I don't have that list right in front of me. But I know those were some of the major things. Um, like going through the carburetor, uh, he rebuilt the the Sunline tack, not Sunline tack, but the the tack that's in the in the. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm struggling with being under the weather here. Um, tech that's in the dash like the period correct dash he had that rebuilt there we go let me see what this is here oh, a couple water spots but these are two little uh touch-ups right there but the paint is super nice the interior is mint uh, as you saw on the chrome front bumper looks great the spinner caps are fantastic actually these spinners were replaced as well i remember reading that uh, no cracks in the glass. The only thing that I see is there's a little stone chip right there. So anyway, let me pop the hood here. Because there's something interesting that I'd like to point out. Uh, again, 327, 300 horsepower, which is a little higher, more higher performance option for the air. It drives freaking awesome. Uh, it's turnkey, runs smooth as silk. The trans, whoever rebuilt the trans, amazing job. Uh, the, the, how do, I, I don't want to keep, you know, boasting about it, but it's one of these cars, you start it, you could just get out, walk around it, it idles perfectly. You could put it right in gear after you start it, back it out, and start driving. You, you know, no no dying, no needing to warm it up. Uh, but this is, you know, your period correct thing for the tech, and I think that's neat, and I love that, you know, when he rebuilt the tech, you know, that still operates. Uh, your trim tag is, in, uh, is down there. I took a picture of that. That'll be on the ad. Master cylinder is new. Uh, it's a, it's a, uh, RB suffix, which is Romeo Bravo again, just, just in case, you know, you can't hear me with being under the weather, uh, which is the 300 horsepower with a four barrel for a four speed, again, factory four speed car. Uh, something interesting, and I did take a picture of it, most lower horsepower cars, most engines in general, let's say, with, aside from like a 409 or a 348, don't have the serial number stamped on the pad. This one on a 327 does. So I did take a picture of that pad because that's pretty unique, actually. Uh, but very very clean in there, you know, right valve covers, you know, correct looking engine. I like that, it's very original. It's, you know, they didn't slap random valve covers, random air cleaner on it. It's correct, it's, it's, it's honest, and I appreciate that. Uh, again, the, you know, newer radiator. Um, I like I like how they did that for the heater, something they did way back in the day. I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, I want to start it up for you guys. Your glass bottle is in place. Let me just flash you the interior. Uh, new floor mats, not that that's that big of a deal, but they're nice and tasteful. Your vent tag is in place. It has not been taken off. There, are your, your period correct tack. I love seeing these. I love having them work. How long has it been sitting here? I took about an hour break. I had a gentleman come pick up a car. 
Let me take it out of gear. I'll give it maybe two pumps. Idles right away, look at that, feet are off. Uh, another styling note, because again, I have not had an SS. I love this uh, handle here with the Impala SS. That's just so cool. Uh, the owner also put exhaust on it, which sounds sweet. And again, you can hear it just runs like a sewing machine. Super smooth. And again, one of the other things I notice is sometimes on uh, 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 most cars, you always got to push like a corner down. This one lines up nice. It's flush. Um, what was I going to say? It's got the little power brake for the written on the brake pedal. Turns off like it should. Put it back in gear. Horn works. AM radio works, all the gauges work. They added those couple tasteful ones down there. Uh, of course, the tack works, all the lights work. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But anyway, we're gonna start driver's side and go down. You do see a couple little, little nicks here on this chrome. I didn't see that from the front, I apologize. Little nick right there, but then let's keep going. It appears to have all original metal, and I would assume so, just because it's, you know, been shown since the 80s, so it hasn't been used and abused like a lot of cars have been. Look how nice that lines up. One of the more noticeable blemishes, like a little indent here, a little chip that's been touched up right there. But then we'll go here, I love that rocker panel trim. Look how nice that door lines up to the uh, quarter panel. Underneath is very clean, very solid. There's no rust underneath the car. Uh, I did take some pictures of it, of course, like I always do. That'll be on the end. Look how nice the uh, drip rails are in here. No bubbling, no chipping. Top of the car is nice. Can you open it up? You in here, look at that. Nice, nice hem. No bondo in there. And then door panels like new. Just just let's get up close on it a little bit. Super nice. Really nice. Trim for the glass is mint. In here it's nice. This is beautiful trim. Some, sometimes I don't even touch on the trim a lot, just because I'm like, but this just stands out to me. Back up a little bit. Again, red interior, bucket seats and console. Uh, seat is nice. Seat's really nice. Show you the seat backs. Clean. If I had to guess, that's probably the original steering wheel which is just fabulous. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. Shows 98306 on the car. That could very well be original. Dash is beautifully painted. The stainless trim on the dash is really, really nice as well. Your stainless here where the glove box would be is mint. Kick panels are nice. The console is beautiful. They put a Hurst shifter in it <coughs> and it just drives awesome. I'm telling you, I can't wait for the driving video. Light works on the console. Pop the console open. Beautiful in there. Stainless is nice. Headliner is mint. No holes in it. No wrinkles in the sail panels in the back. That light works. Uh, new back seat floor mat. The back seat itself looks i mean look how nice this is here this looks perfect door panels are just as nice 
No speakers put in in the back. That's how you want to see it. I always say that. Let me just pull the key out. Uh, no bubbles on the car, by the way. Zero bubbles. This, this whole piece of trim that runs down the side of the car is fantastic as well. You know, no bubbles here. Excuse me. Let's check out the body. Body's super straight. I know it's a little hard to make out because it's white, but the body's really, really straight. Um, I did take a nice picture of this, this trim and all that and the bumper. But this is nice. All sections really nice. The only thing that jumps out of me is this little, little indent here in this piece of trim. But the main main paneling like this is just really nice, clean. It's not uh, worn. Trunk lines up perfectly. It's flush. Yeah, it sits flush here as well. the back window nice as expected you can tell I don't have too much to go on about this just such a nice clean car not screwed around with and I love that about it um, this is original trunk mat in here got an older spare back out newer weather stripping Obviously keeping water out and this finish in here is beautiful Same deal here on this side You can see an original. Ow, I just hit my head original stamping there Can I see it on this side just can make it out just a little bit Has that gray and white spatter paint in here Ugh, Let me just feel it around here that's gotta be, that's gotta be the original quarter. Let me check this side out. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. And the fenders are original. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Older Jackie instructions. Nice clean here. No rust in that lip. Yeah, very clean. Shuts like a glove. What is this? Oh, there's a little smear of something on here that didn't get cleaned off. I'm, so, I'm sorry about that. But the no bubbles, no bubbles there. Little, little nick right there. How nice this trim is here that goes around. Get a little close up on that. No bubbling in there. A little more close up here on that trim piece. Little touch up right there. Beautiful. Same deal for this rocker trim here. I do notice a little touch-up that's been, or a little chip right there. But this door lines up the way it should, once again, and it's flush. And that trim piece lines up perfectly. Beautiful door panel. I mean, the interior on this car is just phenomenal. Uh, but anyway, it will be up for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. You can see how clean it is in there. Both links will be in the description of this video if you want to go ahead and check it out. 62 Impala Super Sport. Andrew, how do you know it's a real Super Sport? Factory bucket seat and console car. 
That is how you figured it out, 1962. Uh, finished in factory colors. Number matching, drivetrain, which is a 327, 300 horse. Four speed manual trans, which again, trans was just rebuilt. Power brakes, bucket seats and console. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. We're going to fire it up, drive it, and get in for the driving. Thank you. understand why he does that he's like in a rush to turn around and go the other way The 300 horse makes us so much more fun to drive. Oh, it's, the, the car is beautiful. Yeah. All I have to say is, wow. <laughs> no, really. No, I know, I know. And that's for the people watching the video. Yeah. You know, it needs things out of the museum. The block, yeah. And then the gentleman went and did it all, and he checked every single box that you would want to have done. You see that girl painting the yellow stripes? No, I didn't. Is she cute? Yeah. Oh. Well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Easy steering, easy braking, shifting. Yeah. Oh, the shifting's beautiful. Acceleration, yeah, no. If every car was like this. No, it's okay. Just... You know, it's funny. This thing feels like a Corvette. Like a 300 horse for the year. Like a 62. Like this no, car for... a 365 horse. Well, no, 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 no. That's no, no. what it reminds me of. Well, I'm, I'm not going to say that, but... But for the power for a big car, I'm very impressive. I'm going to pull it all the way up. Yeah. yeah. 